Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West, a proud supporter of all area local sports. McCombs Ford West, simply the best. This feature is brought to you by Ideal Vision, one-of-a-kind eye care for one-of-a-kind eyes. Visit their locations across San Antonio and in Somerset. I just saw it fat and I put bat to ball and I knew as soon as I hit it that it was going over and I'm just, I'm, I can't even explain how I feel right now. It's just fight and passion. That, that's what we're known for. I mean, we've said many a times in many of the games, the game isn't over until it's the very last out. So when we had our bats back, we just knew instantly. I'm like, it's ending right here. It's not going to extra innings. Rattling her basically was very important. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great area high school and local sports coverage, TV, radio, and cheap web streams refuse to cover. And check out my Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and the UIL will love you if you do it. Thanks so much and enjoy the show. The O'Connor Panthers have a chance to do something never ever done before in Bayhar County and that's win a softball state championship. To do it, they'll have to get past Mansfield Lakeridge. Two clarifications. Number one, Bayhar is the official pronouncer for the county. That's the old school Spanish Mexican pronouncer before today's generation calls it Bear County. And number two, there have been softball state champions from the county, such as Holy Cross, who won a title last month, but that was in taps, and no one has won a UIL softball state championship. The Panthers had a little bit of trouble with El Paso Americas in the semifinals before Jada Munoz hit a two run homer to break a 5 5 tie. That came one pitch after Americas dropped a foul ball that would have ended the inning. It was one of three mistakes Americas made that led to five O'Connor runs, and the Panthers won 7 to 5. They'll take on Mansfield Lakeridge, who upset Deer Park in the other semifinal, 8 to 4. Deer Park, you might remember, was the team that edged Judson in last year's state championship game. 1-0. So could the Panthers win the state championship 11 years to the day that they lost in the state finals to Conroe the Woodlands? One way to find out, let's head to Austin and check out all the action. Let's do it! 
every pitch, every play like you've done all season. You guys, I love you. I'm so proud of you. We've been tested like that all season. We know that three runs doesn't hold us, and we kept that in our minds, and we said, guys, we made it this far. There's no reason we should lose it now. I just saw it fat and I 
put bat to ball and I knew as soon as I hit it that it was going over and I'm just, I'm, I can't even explain how I feel right now. Rattled her up and I mean we had good pitch selection and just her, rattling her basically was very important. For the second straight day when OC looked knocked out, Jada Munoz and friends knocked out an opponent. A solo homer in the seventh by Munoz spooked the Lake Ridge pitcher. Walk, single, walk, walk, and that's how the state championship was won and O'Connor's first ever team title in anything. Player award, as selected by the media goes to number 12, Jada. Panthers of North I'm so proud of you. This and this the 2022. We've been tested like that all season. We know that three runs doesn't hold us, and we kept that in our minds, and we said, guys, we made it this far. There's no reason we should lose it now. We kept faith, and we just kept believing and never never gave up. We fought to the very end, and I'm just so proud of every single one of these girls. It's just fight and passion. That, that's what we're known for. I mean, we've said many a times in many other games, the game isn't over until it's the very last out. So. When we had our bats back, we just knew instantly. I'm like, it's ending right here. It's not going to extra innings. No matter what, um, we always pull through. We work together as a team, and as soon as every time we get bases run, we always score them in. And uh, even when they get three runs in the beginning, it's only the first inning. We still have the rest of the game, and that's what we do. We come back. I think I really just trusted my defense. I know they're behind me, and just trust really like just believing in myself believing in them knowing we just have to get out of the inning and we're gonna score next inning and we're gonna win and that's what we did the girls that don't play the girls that do play the, the ones at DH I mean it came together as a team and we rattled her and we got what we needed I didn't even go to second I just instantly ran home because I knew I knew AJ was not going to swing I mean we could all see that pitcher was flustered and we just knew it was like either AJ's hitting it or we're scoring on a walk I mean it's tough it's it's pressure but it's all about patience and patience and energy is what got us here. The Panthers are 4-0 lifetime in the semis or finals whenever they hold a lead. It's the first Behar County UIL softball state championship and it came exactly 11 years to the day after O'Connor lost in the 2011 state championship game to Conroe the Woodlands. As I mentioned, it's their first team title in any sport. Their rival Brandeis won their first ever team state title in anything back in November in volleyball. Oh, by the way, both you UIL softball playing schools that have an apostrophe in their name won a title. DeHannis in 1A and O'Connor in 6A. Reporting from Austin, I am Mr. Bowtie.